Before we get into the video, people, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins every month. To be in with a chance of winning them, make sure you are subbed to this channel and have that bell notification button ticked. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details are in the video description. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and I do appreciate you being here. Today, I bring you another Apex Legends video, and today, I bring you the 10 Commandments for players of the Apex world or newcomers to the game. Credit to Bloodhound on Reddit for the idea, I just had to cover this due to him being 100% right in every single way. His Reddit post can be found linked within the video description. So the 10 commandments for Apex Legends are 10. Leaving the server after a teammate has picked your favourite legend shall be punishable by death. Now I have come across this a few times now, I've had first dibs on a legend to pick and say I pick Wraith and the second or third legend in my team has decided to leave or rage at me for picking Wraith. I mean come on now people this is a game and you should not be rage quitting or raging at somebody if they pick your legend or the legend you normally use. Even if you are 100 times better than them with that legend, this should still not lead to you rage quitting. If you are one of those people, you seriously need to be questioning your life. Simple as that. No, change your character. No, change your character. I'm just gonna leave. So I right. so See ya, mate. See ya. See ya. I know why you're, you're a boy. <laughs> Adios. You're literally trash. Yeah, look at you. Nine kills, mate. I have like 150. Yeah, what, well, mate? How old are you? Nine. Transfer of Jumpmaster Rule must be transferred before the timer runs out. Now, when I'm playing with randoms, there's nothing more annoying than me being made the Jumpmaster when we've already travelled halfway across the damn map. If you were going to make somebody else jump master because you don't know where to go or you ain't the greatest at flying with speed or you just genuinely don't mind where anybody else goes so you just pass it on please do so before the timer runs out because there's nothing more annoying than being made jump master when you're halfway across the map and all of the good looting spots have been taken up already leading to landing in a place which only gives you white armor and mozambiques eight Teammates shall break away from jump master before landing. Do you know how annoying it is when you're in a team of randoms and people land right next to you and loot the same building you are looting when you are in a wide open area of about 20 buildings and nobody else has landed there? Please break off before you land and loot another spot. It really helps progress moving forward out of an area faster. At 7. First who calls dibs shall be first to obtain loot. Now when I'm playing in an actual team of friends, we do not have a problem with this, but when I'm playing with randos and a fellow teammate pings say a blue or purple armor because he already has one and I dibs it and I notice the other teammate comes flying past me with Octane, grabs that shit. I mean, there's nothing more annoying. The only way you can make this fair is for that the first person who dibs it gets it as simple as that. Six, Mozambique shall forever be pinged. Yes, that is right. We all ping that Mozambique, but nobody picks it up. I think it's just one of those things you do now. You see a Mozambique, you ain't picking it up. So you just ping it, thinking that teammate might want it. It just gets left there. You turn around 500 meters down the road, and you can still see the weapons ping. Nuts. Five, ultimate accelerants must first be served to lifeline. And you can't really argue that. It's kind of a rule now. If you have a lifeline in your team, you ping that ultimate accelerant just for them, or you pick it up and you take it just for them. Four, teammate who killed enemy gets first dibs on enemy's loot. Do you know how many times I have sweated my balls off? I'm on the brink of death. I've wiped out a team. I'm healing up in a corner before I go out in the open to loot their boxes. And I notice my two randos flying past the room I am in to loot them boxes of the enemies I have just killed, taking all the good shit while I'm left with all that standard shit I've picked up when I've just landed. Yes, there is nothing more annoying. Teammates who kill enemies 
get first dibs on enemies' loot. 3. Thou shall not loot teammates' death boxes before respawn. Now, this is a rule I forever live by. If my teammate goes down, I don't care if he's got gold armor and I've got white armor. If he goes down and I clean up his leftovers, I will grab his tag and I will respawn him, not touching his loot. But you know how many times people, I've gone down, I've been killed, I've been respawned, gone back to my loot box and my shit has been taken. And I noticed that pretty purple armor I was wearing, the little Randall's rocking now. Yeah. So thou shall not loot teammates death boxes before respawn. 2. Give teammates a chance to save your banner before rage quitting. This is one of the most annoying things I've come across playing Apex Legends. You need to give your teammates a chance to grab your tag before rage quitting. If you go down and they finish you or finish you off and you're just sitting there waiting for your tag to be grabbed, please be a little patient with your teammates instead of just rage quitting straight out of the game. It isn't as simple as, as soon as you go down, your teammates should just rush over and grab your tag. There are other consequences to that, like other people watching that battle, a third party coming in from a different angle, just waiting and praying on your teammates. Or even still, the enemies that killed you may still be around waiting for your fellow teammates to make an appearance. So give teammates a chance to save your banner before rage quitting. One, using cheats such as exploits like aimbot, speed hacks, invincibility or anything else to gain a major advantage on a battlefield is a big no-no and should be punished by castration. As simple as that people. Now it ain't so much on PS4 and Xbox One, but on PC it seems as though they're having major issues with people cheating. Now I am forever seeing clips on Reddit, Twitter, my Facebook, people posting videos on YouTube of people using exploits such as aimbot, speed hacks, invincibility and so forth. I've even seen people posting tutorials on how you can do this. If you are one of these scumbags, please reevaluate your life because you are doing nothing but ruining the game for the majority. And while you may think you are bad, running around with an aimbot, using cheats for self gain, in reality, people ain't looking at you like you are good. People are looking at you like you are so bad that you have to use cheats like these. So yes, using exploits like aimbot, speed hacks, invincibility or anything else is a major no-no and should be punished by castration. And on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. These are the 10 commandments for players of the Apex Legends world. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Apex Legends videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.